Hello, my name is Tony Bach. I'm the Senior Vice President of Safety at Berglund Construction Company. This week's safety talk pertains to respiratory protection, primarily focused at the silica standard that was set forth in 2017. The reason for the standard changing in 2017 was because at one point in time, the permissible exposure limit was at 250 micrograms per cubic meter of air over an eight hour day, and the new rule decreased it to 50 micrograms per cubic meter in a day, which was a decrease of 80% of allowable silica dust in the air. Silica dust was changed from its normal has communication SDS sheet to a carcinogen causing cancer. Many construction workers, they claim as many as 300 a year die of silica, do, silica dust chronic conditions and another tens of thousands have respiratory issues from silica dust. So here at Berglund and across the industry, we're doing the best we can to manage it, engineer out exposures with wet methods, vacuums on grinders, HEPA filters, fans, ventilation, whatever we can do to minimize the exposure. And then also, if Tony Bach is gonna go in to get fit tested with a full face respirator, because at Berglund, we're a full face respirator contractor, I need to have very little facial hair so that this full face respirator with these 3M cartridges for particulates, for silica dust, seals on my face properly and there's no leakage. So we've got the standard dictating to us what we can do. We wrote a silica exposure control plan and we've been very effective with the plan. But here now in the fall of 2021, we're starting to recognize a pattern. We hired a third party to do some auditing on a few of our projects and all of the auditing for each and every one of those projects came back stating that our tradesmen are coming to work like this now. So from the time that they got fit tested and having a clean face to get the proper seal on the respirator, they've grown out their facial hair immensely. Now the standard doesn't allow extreme facial hair because it breaks the seal of even a half mask respirator, let alone a full face respirator. And those tradesmen that are growing out this facial hair are exposing themselves to silica dust, which once again is a carcinogen and causes cancer. So as the safety director of this company, I am reaching out to all my project managers, my superintendents, my general field superintendents to get out into the field see who's wearing a full face respirator, who's got all this facial hair, and setting them down and saying, I'm sorry, you cannot work for Berglund Construction Company like this because you are not working within the federal regulations set forth by OSHA, and you're leaving the company exposed to a citation, let alone hurting yourselves by this carcinogen. I need all of us to step up to the plate and address this. That's why this video is being made. This is becoming an issue on multiple jobs, even geographically speaking, as we expand into other states. So if you need assistance with this, give me a call. These gentlemen have to shave. They have to manage this facial hair. We cannot allow this to continue anymore. Let's have a safe day. Let's have a safe week. Thank you.